All right, hello, and thank you for joining me in for episode six of Weathering Waves. Uh, so we're leaving off right where we left off. So we're going to be investigating where these weird noises are coming from. So let's head right over there. Oh, it's a cat. Oh. Guess you won't need my self-introduction. Oh, I spent so much time on it. Okay, buddy. Oh wow, he's got the two different colored uh, eyes. So you are Scar. If you need to hear it from me, then yes, I am Scar. Cruel and twisted maniac. Oh yeah, he's deranged. Where's Yang Yang? We deserve a meeting free of such disturbances, don't you agree? Oh, well, that's rather rude. The girl, she's gonna sway your judgment. And you're not? <laughs> what do you want? Don't worry. I don't plan to make you hate me just yet. She is safe now. So you plan for me to hate you in the future? You already know that's gonna happen? Then. But well, let's just enjoy our time together for the moment. Forget about that irrelevant person, will you? I have a lot to share with you. Yep, deranged. Mentally insane. To begin with, I heard you've lost your memories. And how do you know that? So, it's true. That makes sense, given how fragile you were when you woke up, or I would have questioned the authenticity of those rumors. You followed me? So you noticed. Oh, I am flattered. No need to be so on edge. By now, you should have realized I'm just one of the onlookers. But out of all the onlookers, I'm the only one who came forward to meet you with absolute honesty. Before you knew anything about this world, you were already the center of conflict. What do you mean by that? You are the mm. unknown variable we've been waiting for. Forces have been fighting for possession over you. Okay. From the moment you opened your eyes, everyone you've met, including that girl you care so much about, they all knew how valuable you are. The world is a cruel place. You are a living, breathing person, but you're just a pawn to many. Oh, and you're the kind soul who's informing us of all this information, obviously. So we should side with you? That's why I'm here, because I see you as a dear <laughs> friend, and I want to tell you the truth. I am so, so sorry for everything you're about to face. No, so the camera angle is tilting, uh, so that means you're lying. But truth hurts sometimes. As if you were any different. I know you are not one I can sway with simple words. My goal is simple. I just want to deepen our mutual understanding, nothing more. 
Come on. Observe the surroundings a little more and tell me what you see. Dilapidated housing, remnants of a village or town. As you learn more about this world, your true desires will surface, and our little game will become even more entertaining. I see. And before that, I don't want anyone to disturb my precious alone time with you. That's all. Well, that's not creepy at all. What did the fractitious with a yeah? Yeah, yeah, never trying to say that again. Due to this village. Ah, uh, why do you have to assume we are the culprits? And you're not? Maybe you should be asking me what actually happened here. I won't tell you everything just yet. That's too boring. As I said, why don't you take a look around and see for yourself? So go ahead. What do you see? A large-scale ritual. <laughs> Bravo! Didn't think you'd catch on to that. Now, what is the conclusion you've drawn? trust those villagers. I don't trust you either, to be fair. Ah, so they were right about you. You are indeed quite exceptional. I like it. Your keen observation, precise judgment, and accurate understanding of human nature. All right. Let me give you a couple more tips. Really? The truth is far more complicated than you think. Hmm. <laughs> First, who are the players in our tale? An innocent girl, a revered leader, and a flock of simple villagers. Is that so? Next, what makes up our main plot? False devotion, fleeting kindness, collective deceit, senseless killings, and the one vulnerable soul pushed onto a path of destruction by the masses. Now, Rover, the story is yours to spin. To spin? I'm eager to hear your version after you've learned more. Hmm. Huh? What is it? Are you back for some chit-chat? Just tell me the truth. <laughs> no. I refuse. Asshole. Oh, and don't try to threaten me. You're not in a place to bargain, remember? Really? Okay. You don't want to disappoint me so soon, Rover. I'm a little psychotic myself. We'll look for your clues. I'm sure based on what I'm aware of Yang Yang, she'll be relatively fine. Hmm. 
Interesting. Our story begins here. Once upon a time, in a peaceful village, lived a flock of carefree lambs. In the day, they toiled for food, and when evening fell, they sought refuge from the looming threat of wolves. Well, you're certainly quite the storyteller, aren't you, Scar? Fables. Stories told and retold through the ages. The ancient art of conveying hidden truths through fiction. You, you don't need to tell me what a story is. But they always draw from real life, don't they? And so... The same story gets told by many, and each person brings their own spin, their own focus. Okay. Whatever you learn from it is just one of countless different interpretations. Like us now, caught in a carefully crafted plotline, a scheme I had no hand in. You say that, but now it makes me wonder if you did. This village marks the beginning of my story with Jinjo. <laughs> so that magistrate led you here to meet me. Ha! <sighs> Such a clever move on her part. Well, so he knows. Oh boy, we're following it. We're following it. Where are you going? Oh dear. Oh, oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. One day, a shepherd visited the village. A wolf in sheep's clothing. The shepherd brought them promises of abundance and protection. The lambs, drawn in by his words, soon lived in comfort and security. Nope, quite the opposite. The shepherd's arrival is only the beginning. With a wave of his hand, the shepherd could grant their every wish. His flock obeyed, bowing their heads, pleading for better food and shelter. They no longer had to struggle for survival, as their once meager lives were replaced with endless luxury. Oh boy. The flock worshipped their shepherd-turned-god, praising him and holding him in the highest regard. Yeah, this dialogue option seems pretty accurate here. What's wrong? Does my story make you uncomfortable? No, it makes me more confused and intrigued what your role in it is. Uncomfortable? No, I, I somewhat expected it based on the clues. Intrigued? Maybe. Concerned about you? Even more so. Imagine you were one of those lambs, facing irresistible temptation and pressure from your peers. Wouldn't you bow down and beg for food from your master? <laughs> we are all created equal. There should be no hierarchy. Oh, I don't know about that. Oh, so we agree already. You are right. But the world we live in falls short of our ideals. The shepherd still reigns, and the lambs have grown complacent. It's up to the two of us to make that ideal world a reality. And why would I team up with you? Good. There's no time to waste. No, judging by how Scar's been just staring, 
I'd say there's plenty of time to waste. He's enjoying this. The lambs reveled in endless bonfire parties, celebrating their new god every night. Except the one little black lamb. As each night passed, it was the only one to notice how its flock was dwindling away. Rover, do you think someone would give you what you want without taking anything from you? <laughs> I believe in quid pro quo. That's Latin, isn't it? Quid pro quo. I think that's Latin. Probably not pronouncing it correctly, but I'm pretty sure that's Latin. Mm. <laughs> I once believed that too. Thought as long as I paid a high enough price, I could get my desired outcome. But true equality is scarce, always has been. The world was never a fair place. Wouldn't you agree? I mean, that is true to an extent. Everything's already been set up. It's not everyone is going to have a fair start necessarily. To receive equal retribution, one must give more and more and more. When every wish comes with a hefty price, people weigh their options carefully. When they can make someone else bear the price, they all rush to make more wishes. They don't consider they too may one day pay for another's selfish desire. <laughs> Funny, isn't it? Oh, I see they're going they're going this kind of route with the story, I see. Come on. Monster, witch, banish her and all her fault. <laughs> Later, the shepherd openly blamed the black lamb for the flock's decline. On the next day, the white lambs welcomed the rising sun as usual, but the black lamb was nowhere to be found. The shepherd introduced an unspoken rule to this village. One that our black lamb violated by telling the truth. Suddenly, the once doting God stopped fulfilling wishes because no more sacrifices were being made. After witnessing the black lamb's actions and hearing from their almighty shepherd, what do you suppose the white lambs did? Oh, no. Ah, those oblivious lambs. Little did they know the most fearsome demon was right under their noses. Oh boy. Well done. You didn't let any detail slip. Well, it is kind of required to progress the story. Now, I wonder, what is your takeaway from this story? That you could have just simply told me all of this in a conversation? Answer me and I'll reveal the truth of what happened. Oh, I see, okay. Who was the real culprit behind the diminishing number of lambs? The shepherd. Indeed. The direct culprit was the shepherd. He held all the power, fulfilling wishes at a price. The lambs knew the risks, yet succumbed to temptation. Unfortunately, in the face of such temptation, they disregarded all the hidden risks, as disaster had yet to befall them. If they were given another chance, I believe they would still choose the same path. 
Inevitably, they accepted their fate and paid the price when their time came. Now, my second question. What price did the lambs pay for their wishes? Their lives, well, technically everything they owned, but their lives. Of course, as always. Life was the most valuable thing they had to offer. Here's my final question. What happened to the black lamb? Ah, 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 ah. Don't rush, Rover. Take your time. What is the truth you've uncovered? It was murdered by its flock and the shepherd. The shepherd was granting wishes by sacrificing the lives of lambs. The flock found out the truth, but chose to be his accomplices, and they willingly offered the black lamb as another sacrifice. <laughs> That's right! Little lambs cowered and huddled in their village, terrified of the relentless wolf packs. Until a shepherd arrived, bearing the gift of wishes and providing shelter and sustenance. Slowly, the shepherd gained control over the flock, and the lambs lived contented lives. But this is not the end of our story. The shepherd found the solitary black lamb in his flock and offered to grant any wish it desired. In exchange, he wanted one of its companions as a sacrifice. The black lamb refused and it was shunned by its flock, left without shelter or sustenance. After the black lamb's exile, more lambs continued to vanish. The shepherd then blamed the black lamb for breaking the rules and withheld his wish-granting power as punishment. From the very beginning, the lambs knew the risk of making wishes. They too could become sacrifices for those of others. But they always believed it wouldn't be them. <laughs> That's what everyone thinks. Meanwhile, some lambs reasoned that since they had already risked being sacrificed for someone else's wish, it was then only fair to pass on that risk for a chance at fulfilling their own desires. And so they continued to play the game. They all knew the consequences, but chose to remain silent. Fearful, yet greedy, they followed the shepherd's orders and made wishes again and again. Until one day, a brave black lamb spoke up, shattering the flock's facade, their illusion of a peaceful and happy life. The black lamb got in their way, and that of the shepherd's greedy pursuit, sparking hatred in their hearts. Suddenly, they could no longer ignore the blood and ashes of past sacrifices littering the ground. How do you like my story, Rover? Well, it's probably a little embellished, but probably very close to what happened here. What really happened here? I suppose you already have it figured out? The black lamb who rebelled against the rules, and the white lambs who succumbed to their greed. The innocent maiden sacrificed, and the villagers who turned on each other in a ruthless frenzy. They had it coming. 
All the shepherd had to do was execute the rebel. That's how he kept the flock in check and maintained the status quo. <laughs> there it is. And is that why you became a shepherd yourself? Fun answer, but no. Not even close. I was never the shepherd. Never will be. You and I, we are the black lamb. The one who breaks the rules. He who fights too long against dragons becomes a dragon himself. <laughs> Interesting, Rover. <laughs> I'm liking you more and more. Well then, let's see if this black lamb is going to end up like you say. Yeah, he's insane. Oh boy, of course. Of course. Of course. Okay. Let's get ready. Warm up those fingers. Warm up those fingers. Okay. Where the fuck am I? Did he just use like a domain expansion on me? Welcome to the realm of endless chaos. Now is your time to think, Rover. What is the right path to take? Hmm, this is... this is trippy. This is very trippy. us already oh boy is this where we're gonna fight or are we gonna fight just the environment the details oh my gosh oh boy shake and shiver blink an eye a flock of, of lambs comes passing by fleece of white black and red who's the sweetest one ahead Watch out, my dear. Your pioneers are lying at your feet. Don't look back. Join them on this right path, and I've got a scorchingly delightful welcome for you up ahead. I don't know if I like that. What do you mean by that? Uh-uh-uh, don't rush. One slip and you'll shatter to pieces. Well, that's not very reassuring. Ooh, almost fell there. Almost fell there. So this is going to be the last one. This is the last battle? Okay. Mm, I'm not a very good gamer. Let's warm up those finger muscles. Warm them up. Crack the knuckles. Make weird gestures with my hands. Eighteen. Okay. Goodness. You'll pay for this. Screw you. Cut. Such speed! Such brutality! <laughs> Can't you see? We are kindred spirits after all. Okay, there. Shh, shh, don't be so quick to deny it. Now that I have you here standing before me, I'd love to hear your answers. Okay, there's a difference between fighting to protect yourself and fighting to fight, Scar.
tell me, do you want to be the rule-setting shepherd or the rule-breaking black lamb? Oh, you if a sane person manages fucker. to survive in a realm of lunatics, would you call them the last one of reason or the sole apostle? Think about it. The shepherd is not the preordained embodiment of truth. Once he is gone for good, the black lamb can reclaim the trust of its herd. Then, eventually, there will be none left to be victims or oppressors. You. Hit you with Time that. to wrap it up. And hit you with some of that. Come on, hit you with that. Rover. Oh, Yang Yang. Well, we knew that he had taken her somewhere. Just not necessarily where. But maybe it was inside this same Rover? domain. Rover! Oh, or maybe not. I was asleep? That's definitely a bit more intriguing, not what I was expecting. I or shattered Scar's illusion. That should have injured him. Oh! Should I thank you for showing me mercy? Oh, nope, he's about to, no. Mm -hmm. Stay away from her. Oh boy, we got another one. Who in the world is this? Uh, didn't you promise to leave me some alone time with Rover? With one condition. I do hope you haven't let that slip from your mind. Don't let your improvisation trouble others. <laughs> Look at you, rushing in to protect your precious, perfect movement. No worries. I know all the do's and don'ts. I don't need you to tell me what to do. Rover, it seems our happy little date must uh, come to an end. Is that what you thought this was? Oh boy. But don't forget my sincere reminders. Let me know what you choose. An unexpected gift? An honest and open exchange? Or a highly risky gamble? The choice is yours. I know how smart you are. You won't make a hasty decision. We'll meet again. In the not too distant future. They're gone. Should we go after them? Well, I don't think we'll be able to. Yeah, never mind. Are you all right? Oh, don't worry. I'm okay. Scar's resonance abilities appear to involve teleportation and the manipulation of space. He trapped me in confinement, and I could only sense that it wasn't far from here. It took me some time to break that barrier. Sorry, Rover. If only I could have reached you sooner. Well, you're safe now, and I broke free from it thanks to you. <laughs> oh, that TD. Brother. Brother. Yeah, that's still kind of creepy. Huh? Why are you here, little one? Probably hit out of fear, maybe. I've never seen any tacit discord display such vivid emotions. The brother had mentioned. Could it be... Scar? Oh, boy. That might be yes, a plot twist. That is a possibility. Since Scar had been here before. Let's talk about it later. Rover, can you fill me in on what happened? Oh, yeah. A lot. <laughs> it seems all the tragedies in Tea Tree Village were linked to that ritual. 
and Scar was feeding me bits of info. Now they were convoluted and maybe filled with lies, so take them with bits of salt, but bits of info nonetheless. Making up stories based on real life to support his twisted beliefs? That does sound like something he might do. We cannot take his words for granted. Now, we must locate where the ritual took place and see for ourselves. Yeah, we should. We should probably give it a check. Ah, it's going to be up there, isn't it? Hinted it with hmm. the camera. What's the matter? Or, or maybe not. Maybe I sent something. I sent something. Six cents. Six cents. Two distinct frequencies of tacit discords. I see. I can feel it in the streams. Over there. Follow me. In the south. Oh, what's gonna... What's there? Something's there. What are you doing here? They are unharmed. Please rest assured. As you anticipated, Scar did not try to kill them. Yes, I stayed out of it like you asked. Oh, we got bigger plot movements at play here. Is everything all right on your end? Please be sure to stay safe, my lady. Ah, so you're talking with her. Okay. Over. Do you still have the plaque we found earlier? The one broken in half? Yes, as I thought. I just felt a similar vibration from that direction. Please follow me. Yeah, yeah, sure. We'll we'll follow you, but first. Oh, I'm getting all I'm getting all my directions lost around. Good. There's no time to waste. <laughs> all right. Let's let's get rid of you. Tear them to pieces. Absorb that. All Inspect yours. This. You're welcome. Oh my goodness, they respawned? Sure. That was relatively quick. They're gonna respawn again? That would be crazy. The loot we find is not part of my pay. It's all yours. Hmm. Is down this way. All right, those soldiers on our side. Oh, it seems like they are. They're patrolling this area. Yeah, let the soldiers take care of it. get a bearing on okay so now what is this goodness there's a lot of little like boss areas that are hidden away from everything yeah cuz there's the main city okay let's 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 try and continue the story I do want to I do want to try and catch up as I mentioned in the last episode which hopefully I end up posting early um, I'm still not even done with, uh, w the 1.0 uh, story, and we're already on 1.1, so I want to try and, uh, get caught up on the story, just so I can do a bit more grinding, have a bit more, uh, near press, left shift, uh, mid-air dodge, mid-air dodge, fucking hell, there's mid-air dodges too? Oh my god. I don't think I needed to use that there, but Jesus. So that means there's a lot of combat mechanics that I am still not aware of. Oh, and there's another monster down there that's red. 
So those are going to be monsters that are a much higher level than what I can achieve. So I'm assuming they scale up with uh, me when I level up the characters. Which means, unfortunately, uh, the more I level up the characters, the harder they'll get. And not necessarily the better I'll be at playing the game. <laughs> Though that said, probably would take this over something that's just click a button several times and you instantly win. That's that's no fun. It's the missing half. We can piece them together now. I see. Oh, yeah. Oh, well, that is, that is certainly, that's also thumbnail worthy. Maybe I will just do a quick pan. No rush. Oh, we're just floating here. The ones will fall right into our lap. Stand back up, please, ma'am. Alright. Oh, wait. Hello? What- what is needed to be done for this chest? Well, I'll have to check that out later then. Oh wait, nope, stop, stop, there, I already started it, might as well finish it, is there anything gonna come near and attack me, probably not, okay. Look, the water is going down. Oh boy, we have found a secret. looking at I can't believe oh oops it looks like oh what is this gravitational anomaly use the glider to lift it okay. Big opening down here that's only available How once the odd. water gets drained this place should have been soaked in water but everything is dry here even the vegetation is thriving hmm did Scar do this? Given his powers, it doesn't seem too hard for him. I don't know if it would necessarily be Scar. There's no time to waste. Oh. I did not mean to do that. Uh, sure. No. <sighs> Let me climb there. Hmm. 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 Did I just climb over the trees? Oh. That kind of that kind of looks like a uh like a person. Hmm. Oh, and so does that. Oh. Lovely horrors within my human comprehension. Is there anything behind a beautiful waterfall? Yeah, some stones. Oh, he breaks these a lot quicker. I should probably be using him to break them. Good to know. 
But I like playing as her. She's pretty. What is this effect? That's very trippy. Wow. Like, ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay. There's no time to waste. Okay, let's check out all this. Let's claim some more of these rocks. No, give me it. Give me rock. It's time. Usually there'd be like a chest or something maybe hidden over here. Maybe. 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 Maybe not. Game no like me, sad day, sad day. Uh. All right, nothing over there. Well, I guess let us continue. Are you fighting someone? Probably are. A tree. It's stunning. It's almost eerily enchanting. Oh, yeah. It glows. Very pretty. I'd actually, if, if they existed, I'd buy one for my house. But, uh, yeah. It's also a little creepy. Please, save us. Oh, boy. Here we go. Are you trying to tell us about... Something hidden here? Where did it go? Uh, well, is, oh, right is that there? a... Yes, it is a diary. Sorry for cutting off your audio. Alright. <laughs> Yep, turned her into a horrifying tacit discord. Oh, yeah. I mean, I knew, I knew that they would be doing darker stories, but, oof. That's not at all comfortable to learn about. All right, Yang Yang. That girl just wanted to save her village. But those sacrifices didn't lead to redemption. I guess the tacit discord we saw stayed here to convey her last wishes. Please excuse me. It's getting a bit too cold here. Can we head back now? Yeah, that's that's fine with me. Sorry, Rover. I didn't feel comfortable down there. Oh, you're good. It's it's a very creepy little place under there. The air was heavy in that place, without any wind to speak of. But I could still feel so many emotions and desperate cries for help. I... I couldn't handle it. You're good. The villagers were a complex mix of emotions. 
hope, resentment, and despair. And as I read the diary, I could feel the intense sorrow and longing of its owner. What was the diary's owner longing for? Was it the peaceful life she once had? Or did she miss her only family? The person who pushed her towards such a tragic end? That is definitely a question. My apologies. I got lost in thoughts again. Oh, it's okay. I, I understand. It's... You gotta try and stop and think and just process it. I wish I could say such tragedies won't happen again. That's in human nature. Stuff like this will always happen, unfortunately. Now, the rate at which this occurs can be changed, but unfortunately it will always happen. But I still lack the confidence to make that claim. It was tragedies like this that made me want to become an outrider. To become someone with the strength to stop them from ever happening again. I cannot stop the lament, but at least I should do everything in my power to help those affected by it. Well, you haven't given me anything against it, so for now, I trust you. Really? Thank you, Rover. Dwelling on it won't do us any good. Let's go. I'll compile a report on what happened here, and send it in along with the clues we've gathered. Yes, let's go back. Together. Quest complete. Act 3. Starting of now Act 4. Reach Union Level 11. So let's see. Accumulate Union XP to increase Union Level. Unlock more quests and activities. Completing daily quests. Consuming wave plates. Com Complete various quests, open chests, and complete gameplay activities in the overworld. And new feature unlocked, Pioneer Podcast. Okay. Recommended quest for your current level. Okay. Ah, claim that. Claim. Yay! Milestones. Ah, I got a bunch to claim, I see. I won't say no to claiming free things. Alright. Quest rewards there. Oh, and another trophy. And more quests keep popping up. Oh. Shisha. Oh no, did I break the law or something? Huh? Is that your first reaction? Come on! Anyway, you know we could really use your help with this ongoing case. We've been getting a lot of missing persons reports recently. Nobody ever saw those people assaulted or anything. They just vanished. That's certainly concerning. Some of those people are even resonators, or they've served in the military. Well, maybe the cases are connected. Since you're always coming and going from the city, can you help me watch out for anything weird or suspicious? Mm, sure. Thank you so much. Knew I could count on you. I assume this is like a side quest. Ring me up when you spot anything sus, yeah? <laughs> Laters. Oh boy. The brain rot is infecting the game dialogue. Uh. Oh. Interesting. Companion the story Seance Yun Lin. Society. Oop. Never heard of them before. They said they have a solution, but how? This is very suspicious. No matter how I look at it, guess I'll just go and see for myself. Yeah, that definitely is very suspicious. All right. So let's see. So to continue the main quest, I do need to reach Union level 11. Uh, so I'll probably end up having to spend the next episode just doing a bunch of side quests and stuff in order to be able to continue the main story. But yeah. For now, let me just click all these so I can clear 
the red dots because I hate the red dots. Get those red dots off my screen. Rover's wave brand, okay. The diary. Oh, and I can claim that. I love claiming free things. So next time I am gaming, we should be able to claim another copy of her. Gifts of Gratitude. Oh. Ten of those. Once again, I am not going to say no. Echo Hunters. Data Bank. Oh. I can claim that as well. Well, then I'm going to do it. Ooh, and I got a Stamina Limit Boost. I will take that. Gifts of Crystal. Oh, even more stuff that's claimable. Wow, they are giving they are giving a lot of free stuff away. How much interesting. Trying to see. It's an Aces. Okay, current unit level, so I only got that. Still more on there. Okay. Oh, oopsie. <sighs> Pioneer Podcast, and what is that? Ah, I see. Oh, okay, I see. Uh, for those of you who have also played Honkai Star Rail, uh, this is probably very similar. Same, same prices as well. <laughs> Alright. It's essentially the uh, Battle Pass, which has been something that I have purchased in Honkai Star Rail. So, considering how much I've been enjoying this game so far, even with all the struggles I've had with <clears throat> not being that good at combat, at least real-time combat, uh, I might have to consider giving that a purchase. Especially seeing the uh, rate that a lot of these games tend to go with the potential power creep. A lot of times it ends up becoming necessary whether you really like it or not. But definitely something... I will check out. Probably should still... Haven't leveled any of these other characters. Probably should level them. I don't think I really have any of the, my main three that have been using Kelcharo, Yinlin, and Verena. I probably don't really have them fully leveled up correctly. Like, uh... Broadway the Knight. She's using her signature. What was his level? Level one. Yeah, so I haven't even... Actually, well, I'm right here. Can I? Yeah, let's... And, yeah, level one. Okay, right, yeah. That's fine. Just in case, have those all leveled. Yeah, and I don't even have any of, uh, Echoes for any of these. Oopsie! I don't think I can unlock these yet. Yeah, and I don't have any of those. Anyway. Yeah. For now, I'm not sure when the next episode will be, but hopefully it comes pretty soon. Definitely enjoying all that. But I think right before I go, there should be two things that I finally end up doing. So first, I'd say this is the current banner character. 17 days. I think I should probably trial. Because I do get free those if I trial. So, let's go. Alright. Now, I'm not really good at the combat, nor did I really ever read the skills. Uh, I've kind of just relied on the wiki for that, ever looking it up. And by wiki, I mean these guys... So they're, they're who I've been using, because I used them for Honkai Star Rail to help me with some character builds when I couldn't really fully grasp some of it, so I've been looking at them to use them. And as we can see here... May I pray for anything specific for you? It would be my honor. It looks like she's gonna be one of the better sure DPS, even better than Kilcharo that I currently have. So whether I and if I end up getting her, it'll it'll be great if she pairs well. Like I can then play as Jinshi, Yinlin, and Verena. That'd be great. 
Uh, and going back to that uh, character list, I haven't seen anything else about her, but Shang Li. Oh, they're they're releasing all these good characters one right after the other, not giving you any chance to save up, so you want to end up pulling. Well, let's go back to the game here. So yeah, a couple interesting things, but I want to try or see the actual combat and progress, see how it looks like, what it feels like, see if I'm actually going to be good. I mean, let's see. Oh, that's cool. I love how Yin Lin is also, even though she was also a limited, she's for some reason also on this trial. I guess maybe... Is she just standing? AD? AD? Oh. Oh. Okay, come on. Give me a, give me enough so I can I can I want to see the alt. I want to see the alt. Cuz already this is freaking sick. Okay, give me enough. I want to see that alt. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Yes. Come on. What's this all? Guide us. Ha ha ha! Okay. <laughs> oh. Frick, she might be a must pull. I might have to spend money on her. Oh, uh, well, we'll try. I'll try and complete the game a bit more before trying to do that. Try and try and actually win some of the points by playing. There's no need to spend as much money as you can just to get everything. I already spent like $50 to get Yin Lin and I felt terrible afterwards when I looked at my statement. But, you know, you win some, you lose some. Yay! Yeah, just fucking look at Cheng Li. <laughs> okay, let's try not to simp too much. So, trophies. I know I can claim some stuff in here. Okay. Yeah, counter an enemy's attack sometimes. Yeah, I learned that how to do that for the first time while I was fighting Scar. <laughs> Probably should have learned that way earlier. Anyway, yeah, tutorials there. Got it, got it, got it. I'll read those later if I actually need them. Ooh, did I get some mail? Social media website. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll check it out later. I already claimed that. Okay. So, last but not least, to end off the episode. Ooh, they're fighting over there. I have one ten pull. Now, if we check this, does it have our records? Ah, that's records. Six. We're at six pity right now. Mmm, gotcha gods. Alright, well, that's to be expected. Ranger Donjing. Okay, got another Worry copy not. of her. My crimson blade will not harm you as long as you haven't done anything bad. Okay, not terrible. And how much is it again per 10 pull? 1,600. So I have enough for another 10 pull. So do I go for that or I do go for this weapon, which I remember being uh, the listed weapon? Well, I already I have 11 in here anyway. Are these used the same as this? Uh, let's save those for now. 
I know I definitely want to try and get her, Jinsy. So, we're going to try another tin pull on this one. See if we can get lucky. Now we're at 16 pity. And this will make us go up to 26. Yeah. Wouldn't really expect my luck to be that, that great. Which is unfortunate, but... Greetings, Rover. Ah, another I copy of her. you for the time being. Greetings, Rover. I will escort you for the time being. And another copy of her. Okay, they're giving me four stars as my luck instead, I guess. Which is necessarily isn't a bad thing. Just I really want the the limited character. <laughs> anyway. Yeah, two uh, two and one. Okay. Alright, not bad, not bad at all. Is there a chance? Ooh. 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 How much can I get? Just four? Oh, but I can get some through here, too. Oh. Okay, none through there. Got it. Uh, I'll purchase as many as I can of that. None of that? Okay. Not to worry. Alright, another 10 pull. Let's go. Should now be at 36 pity. Chissa, ally of justice at your service. Got another copy of her. Alright. Greetings, Rover. Oh my gosh. I will escort you for the time being. All right. I'm going to save that one pull until I can pick up another nine. Goodness gracious. So now. Got one additional copy of her. One additional copy of her. And for the love of everything holy, I got three additional copies of her. So, haven't really read what any of those do. Maybe I'll read them later. Maybe I won't. For now, let's leave you off with a lovely close-up of Yinlin. Uh, but for now, thanks for watching. If you liked it, a like and subscribe would be greatly appreciated. Any little bit helps on the road to a thousand subscribers. And once again, thank you for watching, and I'll see y'all next time.